Shout out to all the cancers. True, true, true. Yes. You're what people? My strong people. Your strong people. Oh, yeah. Shout out to okay, you. I'm, I'm going to let you live because it's your birthday. So, yes. happy birthday again. Yes. Today's not my birthday, but the whole month is a celebration for me. So, that's why <laughs> every day is my birthday in July. Yes. In July, right after the holiday. Yes. Actually, the holiday and uh, after because my birthday is the holiday. But we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that. Basically. So, yeah, it's here again. The weekend's over again. Oh, yeah. So we want to recap. What did we do over the weekend? Man, let's see. I went to, uh, I'm not going to say where I went, but I went to an event where you wear a certain t-shirt depending on your relationship status. It was pretty cool. Okay. Pretty interesting. But I had a great time. Uh, <laughs> really? It was three colors. It was it was whether you're taken, whether you're single, or oh, you're you know. I'm not sure I'd like to ask through. you. I wanted I wanted to go to that party, but but it was interesting. But I had a great time. Unfortunately, um, I was unable to attend. I wore, I wore the taken color. I wore the taken color. Okay. But I noticed a lot of taken colored people were dancing with single colored people. With the and, green color. And the, a lot of the the dating in the middle people were left by themselves. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. <laughs> That's not Shots right. fired. <laughs> that, right. <laughs> that that started off my weekend, but after that, I mean, I just relaxed. It was just me, and my daughter, and my family. We just hanging out. That's nice. You know what I mean? That's it's cool. always good to you know oh, yeah. spend time with the fam. Yeah. I went so shout out to my boy uh, Goo. We got married. My boy Goo from the college. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout okay. out to you. He's on his honeymoon right now. Wedding was a turn up, turn up. Yeah, I went to a wedding myself. Yeah. It, it seemed like this was a big weekend for for weddings. The wedding weekend. The yes. wedding. My my wedding was actually on Fourth of July. Nice. Did but you was, enjoy it? I did. I had a ball, but of course, you know, I came back with some uh, moments. With some oh, some I moments. Ca- I came back with some moments, but you know, we'll get into that in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so for all of the listeners, just in case you don't already know the topic today, we are going to be talking about sex, but. Um, more focused on teenage pregnancy and um you know we want to know from the parents out there who you know how soon do you have that talk with your children i don't know because um the reason that i wanted to bring this topic up was i was watching the news the other day and they were talking about handing out condoms to middle school children and uh, I felt a way about that. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> so, you know, I, I just figured this this would be a good time to talk about it. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't really address it. It's out there, though. Very, very much out there. Scary. Very scary. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to get into that a little bit later. But I think that right now I want to get into... Just set it off? Yeah, I think I need to set it off right quick. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Wait, I was already. Uh, 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 okay. I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, for those of you um, new listeners out there, just in case you don't know, we do this thing, or I should say I do this thing <laughs> called Set It Off, where. Um, it's, all her. it's not all me because, you know, <laughs> I get these things from other people. People, it's not just. Don't, don't think that. All of the oh, yeah, yeah, I figured, I You know, other people do come to me and you know they express themselves. On the email too. On the email yes. Too. In the mix dot yak radio at gmail dot com. If you wanna get at us, if you wanna you know give a topic, chime in, whatever, just give us a shout out. That's in the mix. I n d a m i x dot yak radio at gmail dot com. Okay, so um, this is kind of I'm I'm not really sure how to say this, but. This is the first thing. So we were in the room mm-hmm. and a bunch of us, you know, co-workers and we were having a conversation. 
So somebody just walked in the room and totally interrupted the whole conversation, didn't say excuse me or nothing. So I'm sitting there like, yo, do you not see a whole group of people having a conversation? So you just felt like it was all right to just walk in a room and don't say excuse me. How dare you? Yo, I really, and, and all I did was you, all you had to do was see my face. I don't know if the person realized that I was looking at them like they were crazy. But people, I mean, it's all right to use the word excuse me. Did okay? You, did you rip them? No, you know, I, I, I really just was so um, appalled by the behavior. I, I All I could do was give them the Kermit look. Oh, okay. did you know that there's an emoji? Is with, there? There's an emoji with the Kermit. It's like, I think it's like <laughs> the most funniest thing. It's a movement that's coming. I'm to get some shirts made. Oh gosh. Yeah, but you know, people, if, if you see a group of people having a conversation, the proper thing to do, you don't just just jump in and start talking to the person and just totally cut people off, you know. Wait, 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 because I jump in sometimes, but I go with the topic. No, 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 but they know that the person just walked in the room, we you were having a conversation, they just walked in the room and didn't say excuse me, oh, cut totally everybody. just cut everybody off. Oh, no, no, no. And totally, and wait, wait, and this is my thing. If I'm on my lunch break, do not come and talk to me about work. Save that for when we're done, okay? Don't walk in the, you coming into the lunch room to talk about work? Really? Get a life, get out of here, we don't wanna hear it, okay? All right, so that's one. So, another thing. Now, I understand that, you know, we're all human and we all need to move our bowels, okay? I, I, I get it. <laughs> but here's the thing, all right? Public places, okay, I'm not gonna put anybody on blast in particular, but this is what I'm gonna say. If you Shikita. really <laughs> need to go to the bathroom, and I mean not number one, but number two, all right, you are not home, okay? The bathroom is to be used by everybody in the building. I don't appreciate you blowing the bathroom up. And then you see, my thing is, if you're gonna do that, at least flush the toilet and make sure all the skids are off the damn toilet. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So now people are walking in after you and walking right back out the bathroom. It's like the funniest thing. I mean, it's not funny, it's nasty. But it's like, yo, you don't look in the toilet bowl like after you're done, you make sure you flush the toilet. But if you see there's residue on there. Flush again. Flush again, yeah. you know, and, and um, a little Lysol never hurt anybody either. If you're going to blow it up, at least go in the bathroom with some kind of spray or something. Well, yeah. Something. Yeah. I mean, I know there's a few people. I, I mean, really, come on. Yeah. Well, some people, see, the problem is some people um, don't know about the courtesy, cur the courtesy flush. For real. Yeah, like, when flush, you drop the first... You flush, you know what I mean? <laughs> just comment courtesy for the person in the next door near you, you know what I mean? That's just rule number one. But but this is not even, you know, yeah, it's a courtesy flush. And it's just really inconsiderate and rude to me. Me personally, I don't use the public bathroom. If I'm going to do that, I got to be home. Unless you have some sort okay. of emergency. Okay, now I got to cut you off. Unless you have an emergency, that's a... This so you drive home? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. But, just... but but wait no. But if if I must courtesy flush and spray. You carry that with you just in case. Yes, oh. I do. Okay. I'm a female. I don't know. We carry a little perfume and stuff with us, so I don't know. It's not just me. Okay. I'm speaking for the people because the people wanted me to talk about this. So this is for my people. With the courtesy flush, if you're going to use the toilet, okay, please. Make sure that it's clean For real. <laughs> before you exit. Yes. And carry nice. some spray or something. They sell the little mini Lysol um, sprays because I've seen them in Target or Walmart, one of them stores. I've seen them because I used to buy them, the little pocket Lysol. <laughs> yes, you can you can get that. All right? Yes. So now. I, I got to say, though, too. Um, shout out to everybody that's on these dating sites that <laughs> feel as though there's no hope. And oh um, the general population and public to meet anyone special, so they have to log on to these sites. I had my coworker. I was talking to him today. He came back from like surgery, and but before he went on surgery, he was like all pissed off. Like he had a girlfriend that was cheating on him and all this stuff. He's an older guy. He's like you know, city citizen, I would say. 
And he came back, he's like, I'm a new man, you know, I'm working out, I lost weight, I dumped that bitch, I'm on these new sites, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I just got a whole bunch of dates lined up, I'm just, I'm just a new guy. And I read all these articles, and he told me, he said, you know, he Googled what to stay away from. And it said, first things first, stay away from women that have no jobs, and that are oh. ins uh, as aspiring actors or oh actresses. Uh, I guess that goes for both spouses. That's, that's for both sides. So then I started thinking to myself, well, when he said actor or actress, does he mean the people that also believe they are in a profession but have no clientele? Like, like, like the bosses, the people that say, Yo, I, I got this, I got that, I'm working on this, I'm a beautician, I'm a hairdresser. Nah, but you, you gotta have I'm more a, than one hustle, though. You gotta have nah, some you gotta some have, kind you of have, you, gotta have, you gotta have more than one hustle, but the people that are acting and say, like, Yo, I do this, I'm a model, but they haven't done no shoots, no nothing. Or, or I'm an actor, but I haven't acted on nothing. I'm trying to get on, you know. No, that's, I'm a, that's not I'm a business that's man. Not I haven't done any business, but I'm. So I feel like that's a form of acting as well. I had to set it off on that because I had a friend of mine tell me the other day, like, yo, I want to get into cutting hair, and I was like, Did you want to get into cutting? Yeah, hair? like, like I'm about to be about, like, you know, I'm about to start this. And then he told me I want to get into cutting hair, right? So then he bumped into another friend because we was all at a, at a, at a function together. He bumped into another friend. He said, Yeah, you know, I'm about to be about to start this barber thing up. And I'm like, Wait a minute, you said you trying to get into hair, and now you tell him we got to start this barber thing up. So what the next slide is gonna be? Yeah, I got my shopping. I got my, I, I got my shop already. I just got to finish the paperwork. I can see that as a form of acting as well. Because they perpetrate the fraud, because they're yes. not really doing nothing, right. even though they're they saying that they see, this is the thing people don't realize. Keep your mouth shut yes. until you do it. Yes. Don't Some, say yeah. nothing. Just wait and get all your stuff together and then when people just see you do it, then you do it. But all that talking, just keep it to yourself. Yeah, I just felt I don't like, like yeah. that. So I, right. had, I just had to add to what the guy said. <laughs> I think that's it. Perpetrate the form of acting as well. That's true. Yeah, because there's a lot of um, fraud, fraud out there. You know people. who you are. <laughs> yes. Now, this last moment, I, I just want to bring this up and then we can move on. But, okay, so we both went to weddings over the weekend. And um, I've been to a few weddings. And some people just really do not know how to again people need to learn how to act at functions okay it's a wedding i don't know where these people thought they were but okay um you the loudest ones at the table people okay if if the father of the bride <laughs> is giving a speech then you need to shut the hell up all right basically shut up why are you talking while they're giving a speech why does everybody hear you and not the person who actually has the microphone all right so no but it's like and then people in the church okay we about to settle from this i'm sorry i can't i can't help it okay so now you in the church why is the cell phone going off in the church mm. you are in a church and there is a ceremony going on the pastor is talking why is your cell phone on was it the old Haitian guy chewing, yes. chewing the gum with the it, Bluetooth it was, in the air? It was, no, not that one. He didn't have the Bluetooth, but it was an old Haitian guy, him and his wife, and then he gonna pick up the phone and give his wife the phone. Really? Hello. Hello. No. Just just don't answer it. Oh, Zikides. just wait. <laughs> okay, and then, all right, I said that was gonna be the last one, but I'm lying. All right, so now, fast forward to the, um, the reception, the part where they throw the bouquet. Oh. Ladies, 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 listen. Okay, I understand that everyone maybe perhaps uh, wants to get married one day, but you do not have to kill yourself and other people on the floor to try to catch that bouquet. Okay. <laughs> it is not, for real, it's not that serious, okay? It's not that serious for you to come out of the wedding party with a concussion because you tried to dive. Oh. And, and get the bouquet, all right? Oh. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, because it, it's really serious out there when it comes to this flower thing. You know, don't worry, it's gonna happen one day. Maybe not. I, I don't know. Like it's the tradition with the with the catching of the flower. I'm not gonna kill myself, scuff up my knees trying to catch no damn flowers. I think we need to switch up because. Some people are, are overdoing it with the whole thing. I, it's becoming routine, and now I see people catch 
the bouquet or catch the garden. Like, oh, she caught the other? Nah, yo, here, you got it. I've seen people pass it over, or they try to match it up like, oh, wait, she caught the bouquet? Well, her man is over there, so how about you give him the garden? No, it don't work that way. Well, it doesn't work that way. I mean, if she was loyal to you, she wouldn't have got up to catch it in the first place. True, so, yeah, see, because you know, yeah. if if I do get up, if I do get up, I stand back. I'm not diving for it. You know, if it happens to come, <laughs> it, it comes. But yo, I seen people fall, damn near knock over the wedding cake. Yo, calm down, okay? <laughs> it's All right, it's not that serious. It's a game. <laughs> it's entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> like, get it together, get it together. Okay, I am done. I'm sorry. Whew, I had to, I had to, because sometimes, you know, the females don't know how to act. Oh, man. All right, so, that was, that was the set it off for the night. Okay. I am done, officially. one 877 that's the hotline if you want to chime in for tonight, all right? We Let's sipping show. on that brown juice, I'm starting to get hot. Oh, yeah, and also... Theapparator.com, we have a new mobile version of the website. So you can simply just click a button, you're listening on Love to Us Live, and you click another button, and that's how you call us up live. So. Right, so we're going to get into some more music, and when we come back, we're going to start in on the topic. And I really want people's input on this because, to me, it's, it's kind of upsetting. I, I don't know about middle school children getting condoms that means like what six to eighth grade mm. like you should be studying your books but anyway that's a whole nother thing um let's get into some music and right. we'll be back in a bit that sucks. I'm going on some, some, some. 